The first K is the cutter, which is a steel bangle. Notice how it's a perfect circle? This symbolizes the way in which divine energy has no beginning and no end. We wear this on the wrist and it reminds us to keep truth, strength and integrity. It emphasizes the Sikh motto of no fear and no hate. Sikhs have a duty to defend the weak, to stand for justice and human rights. So we have the second K, which is the Kirpan. This is a ceremonial sword. It signifies our commitment to justice and is a symbol of religious freedom. The third K is the Kashera, which is a pair of underpants. Underpants with religious significance. The Kashera were originally worn by Sikh soldiers and they represent self-restraint, chastity and purity. The fourth K is all about hair. Throughout history, hair has been regarded as a symbol of strength and holiness. Sikhs think of their hair as a blessing and they practice kesh, which means not cutting their hair. A Sikh's kesh is always covered, which is why you see so many Sikh men and women wearing turbans. This is a religious requirement for Sikhs and it's like a uniform. It means we can always be recognized and stand out to help others in need. The longer your hair is, the more important it is to keep it clean. So we use the fifth K, the Kanga, which is a wooden comb. It's used to detangle the hair, keep it neat, but also reminds us to generally practice good hygiene and keep a tidy appearance. The word Sikh means disciple or student. A Sikh is someone who is learning and on a journey. People can be at different stages of their journey. Not all Sikhs will have every one of these five Ks as part of their external identity. The important thing for every Sikh to remember is to invest in their spiritual development, to practice compassion towards everyone, everywhere, at all times. Waikujika Kalsa, Waikujiki Fateh.